Hey guys, this is Tom Hanks and in this video we're gonna be discussing the top three of our community challenge again. This, so this is gonna be like basically the three finalists and uh, I will announce my personal winner uh, between the three and you guys can also vote in a straw poll for your winner. And then at the end we're gonna have a wrap up and uh, I'll announce the either mutual or you know i guess what what happens if uh, if you guys choose a different car well then that takes priority over my opinion because it's a community challenge and i'm the i'm the host and uh, you know i'm doing this for you guys so the first one is gonna be the pkw Cruore, which is by Sergeant and snoopy it has a seven and a half liter v12 776 horsepower and uh it uses the murcielago body now aesthetically as i said in the stream if you didn't watch the shootouts you can of course go back and watch those um it's a very clean looking supercar it's not like you know crazy and flashy except for the wheels which kind of don't fit into the like general picture of this uh, of the aesthetics here because like everything else is really like clean and elegant and then the rims are just like yeah they're not <laughs> they're not uh, as elegant as the rest but um you know the triple exhaust is nice But we've discussed, um, we've discussed, uh, I've gone over all the aesthetics and everything uh, in, in the shootouts video. So basically uh, what this car does really well um, is, I mean, drivability, spoilerness and prestige are good. None of them is actually the highest we've seen in each, uh, in, in the respective category, but um, they are still pretty good they're up there but what this car does better than any other entry is on track performance um we've seen that this is like um is it also the quickest zero to 200 you've seen it in the in the shootouts video we're gonna time it again real quick here yeah it's it's like 8.8 8.9 uh, and that is despite the fact that it's its power to weight ratio isn't actually like crazy we've seen higher than this but it is still really good of course and i'm guessing this just has yeah actually no this has this doesn't have very wide tires at all so this is just a very well set up car in terms of the suspension and uh yeah extremely good track performance but uh yeah just overall a solid stats and great track performance nothing like as far as these stats go nothing like overly like dominant but everything is pretty good and then the next the next one of the three finalists um is going to be the Comet, made by Vinny Scarletto. And as I've said in the uh, in the shootouts video, I think this is the, in my opinion, the best looking car in the in the competition. And uh, it has a couple of uh, nice uh, features about it as well, apart from the looks. It has a 5.8 liter V10 which is the only naturally aspirated V10 in the competition. We've seen a lot of naturally aspirated V12s, of course. Um, and it has a top speed of 410 kilometers an hour. But uh, while it can't match the, um, while it can't match the PKW Corolla around the track, it's like up there w with, uh, like 
it's tied for a second place in performance with like the Komodo SSR and also the atmosphere like those three cars were extremely similar in performance so this is like um, yeah this is still very good performance and the overall stats the sportiness is really really high this is the the highest sportiness of the three uh, finalists I believe uh, prestige is also 86.2 Drivability is very solid um, and it does also extremely well in the market of course as it should and all of that while actually keeping it to a almost reasonable sounding 651 horsepower reasonable only in the context of you know the other entries in this competition <laughs> um, but yeah it it's a really good it's a really nicely set up car it's a well-balanced car it looks good and I, I can't really find any like weakness to this car I like pretty much everything about this now the one thing that isn't as crazy about it as I said is like the the, the amount of horsepower and also um, the power to weight is a little bit below the other two that we're seeing here but uh, everything else is just about up there and our final entry between the top three is the Komodo SSR by Sergeant Snoopy now this one has the most power 938 horsepower and yeah it, it is also the heaviest entry by far though so 1660 kilograms is actually kind of pushing it for a 90 supercar it is kind of counteracted by the 938 horsepower but what i don't like about this engine is that it's so peaky it's a seven and a half liter v12 surely you get like 900 plus horsepower but you only get like like only at 6000 rpm is when this this really starts uh, going and with a massive v12 like this you really want that power earlier than that as i demonstrated uh, with my reference car in the shootout video this one like this car the komodo makes 700 newton meters at 40 or 4900 rpm basically whereas my reference car also had a seven and a half liter with 12 and it made the same torque at 2400 rpm so down there when there where there's like basically nothing from this engine and sure it makes more and around the top range but this costs it off the line and also out of slow corners which is why it isn't as crazy in terms of performance as you may think uh this has actually a slight disadvantage in power to weight to um compared to the um the pkw crore and it's also the slowest of the three cars in the finals from zero to 100 and this comes down to the to the torque curve and the weight of the car however this car has the highest top speed of all cars in the in the competition which which is why this which is why it makes this decision so hard i mean we're in 97 the fastest car in the real world up until that point was the mclaren f1 with which did like 391 kilometers an hour so this would be 66 kilometers an hour faster than an f1 imagine how crazy that would be in real life like basically cars today like the the, the top-notch like Bugatti and Koenigsegg are around this top speed today and yeah this is like this is like 20 years earlier so that does count for something however I think that the other stats actually spoilers is higher than in the comment I'm sorry for that mistake but prestige is so low 80.9 We've seen we've seen a car with like 95 in the competition, and the other two in the finals had um, 85 and 86. 
and something like that so the prestige is definitely suffering despite the fact that that this has the biggest engine i allowed <laughs> 7.5 liter v12 and it also has the highest top speed and that it does by quite a big margin uh what was the interior like okay um yeah sport and then luxury so this car is one big strength it's its top speed and and the, and the raw power output other than that though i don't think this has too much going for it sure the top speed is like the like it's ultra crazy for 1997 it's it's crazy for today's standards but then again it's just a game so in 2018 you can make cars that go faster than than this you can also make cars in 1997 that go faster than this in the game sure with this body anyway um another thing that i don't really like about this car is that it like the the front looks a little bit too modern with the sort of led-esque headlights that really wasn't a thing in 1997 however i mean it it looks decent i like the sort of antennas used for wipers and stuff but overall like the the one thing that and i keep coming back to this the, the one thing that this has over the other two is the top speed but pretty much nothing else like the 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 horsepower doesn't actually translate to a faster zero to 200 kilometers now at time because of the torque curve see that was like a 9.6 or so zero to 200 whereas the cruora was like 8.8 .8, and it had like 160 horsepower less so yeah um this is gonna be up to you guys this decision um i'm gonna put the straw poll link into the description below and yeah then you guys can vote for your personal winner and i have made my decision i will let you know in the next wi video uh i don't want to tell you right now which one would be my pick uh but you know there's gonna be a winner for sure we'll find something and don't forget that the winner of this community challenge is actually gonna get a v16s code so good luck to the three of you who made it into the finals and uh, i'll see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>